we are discussing chapter number 17 which is stars and the solar system so we are taking questions on stars and the solar system first is we have to choose the correct answer to this question which of the following is not a member of solar system so constellation is not a member of solar system asteroid satellite comet r which of the following is not a planet of the sun? Sirius. Sirius is not the planet of the sun. Mercury, Saturn and Earth are. Choose the correct option. Phases of the moon occur because. Because. A. We can only. Because if this is moon. We can only see a part. This part or this part. Which reflect light toward us. So we can see only the part of the moon. Which reflects light towards us. Put in the blanks. The planet which is farthest from the sun is Neptune. Neptune. The planet which appears reddish in color is Mars. A group of stars that appear to form a pattern in the sky is known as constellation. It's constellation. A celestial body that revolves around a planet is known as satellite. Shooting stars are actually not actually not stars. Asteroids are formed between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So this, this is Mars and Jupiter. So true and false. Pole star is a member of the, the solar system and this is false. Mercury is the smallest planet of the solar system. This is absolutely true. Uranus is the farthest planet in the solar system. This is false. We will see the proper diagram in a bit. Insat is an artificial satellite. Yes, Indian satellite is an artificial satellite. There are nine planets in the solar system. No, we'll see just in a bit how many are there. And constellation Orion can be seen only with a telescope. This is false. Why? Because this is a constellation, right? Uh, it has a proper proper pattern, so it's easily visible. Match the column A with column B. Inner planets, which are the inner, inner planets? These are Earth and Mars. Outer planets are Saturn. Then the constellation is Great Bear and uh, Orion. Then satellite of the Earth is, is Moon. Moon, this one. So this is how we match. In which part of the sky can you find Venus if it is visible as an evening star? So it's uh, western horizon. So Venus become visible only after sunset. That is why it is called as a evening star. It appears in the western horizon. Name the largest planet of the solar system. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. In fact, it is so large that about 1300 earth can be placed inside a giant uh, means this is giant planet which means if you take uh, earth multiplied by 1300 then it will be equivalent to jupiter but the mass of jupiter is about 318 times that of our earth what is constellation name any two constellation uh, the stars they form a recognizable shape or a pattern so, this star forming group that has a recognizable shape is known as constellation. Great Bear, Orion, Cassiopeia and Leo Major, these are examples of constellation. Ursa Major and Orion, we have to draw this sketch to show the relative position of prominent star. This is Ursa Major, it is uh, like, uh, it's like a spoon, you know. Uh, with depth and this is like a man or a person having a bow so this is ursa major this is orion name two objects other than planets which are members of solar system so we have comets asteroids and meteors these are objects other than planets which are members of solar system explain how you can locate the pole star with the help of ursa major so the idea is this is the, this is your Ursa major. Now we have this A and B, the end one. So A and B, 
these are two stars now just join them and extend them to phi times means if this is x this length should be 5x right so this and if you go around there this means you have to extend this imaginary line from a to b towards the north direction that is around 5 5 times the line will lead to the star which is not too bright and this is known as pole star do all the stars in the sky move you can explain all the star in the the sky they move from east to west now what happens is this is earth now it rotates around its axis this is the axis and the pole star so will where this pole star is situated it is in the direction of the earth axis so that is why the pole star doesn't appear to move why is the distance between stars expressed in light years what do you understand by the statement that a star is 8 light years away from the earth light travels with certain speed now the stars are so far that you cannot use kilometer because it will be a very very huge number that is why these light years are used to express the distances the star are at a distance of millions of kilometers from the earth and these are very large distances that is why we express them in light years so one light year is the distance traveled by light in an year so one light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power 12 kilometer so if the star is 8 light years away from the earth that means that the time taken by light to travel in 8 years that will be 8 into 9.46 into 10 to the power 12 which is equal to 7.6 into 10 to the power 13. The radius of Jupiter is 11 times the radius of the earth. Calculate the ratio of the volume of Jupiter and earth. How many earth can Jupiter accommodate? Now the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. It is given that the radius of Jupiter is 11 times the radius of earth. So if the radius of earth is r, this we can take as 11 r. So in the place of first one earth is we can use r and in the place of r for Jupiter we can take 11 r. So let us take the ratio of Jupiter and earth. So the radius of earth if it is r, radius of Jupiter is 11 r. The volume will be 4 by 3 pi 11 r, 11 r cube by r cube like 4 by 3 pi all this will cancel out and this 11 cube is equal to 1331 so this will be 1331 by 1 that is the ratio is this one so jupiter can accommodate around near to 1331 uh, earth bhojo made the following sketch of the solar system so is the sketch correct see he has to just do certain minor changes uh, which is like this these are very minor but uh, it actually changes because this this in this case mars and venus has to be replaced means they have to change their position and uranus and neptune this is uranus and this is neptune they have to be exchanged so the actual vision would be we have sun then first is your mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn then uranus then neptune so this is all about uh, the solar systems thank you so much and take care of yourself